guys welcome to a new video this is my week 65 update of my fitness journey and i will tell you this week has not been the best week but i've started incorporating other workout routines in my running and stuff because the running is just getting like really hard like i can't just like stay running for so long but my goal is to get to the 5k and then after that like i don't know we'll see about running and stuff but i want to finish my goal which is a 5k i'll get into the updates a little later but if you are new here make sure you are subscribed and also follow me on instagram and like normal we're just gonna go through what i did this week and then i'll talk to you about like updates and how this week went and then we will get into like the progress photos so starting off on sunday i believe i did a 40 minute workout um it was the happy up and down day one of pamela reef's workouts week 16 and you can find all of these plans on her instagram but that is the workout plan you can kind of like screenshot that and that is what I did I chose to do the happy cardio not the other one I really love the ab lines workout that was so challenging oh my gosh but I just decided to do that workout on Sunday because I was meeting up with one of my friends to hang out and um, go to the selfie world like you saw in the last video so um, I still got up early I just didn't want to get up as early as if I were to run so I ended up working out like at 7 a.m that day Monday I did a run and I went around again like the whole block of like my neighborhood which is really cool um, I ran 2.57 miles and I burned 250 calories which is really good and then I believe I did an ab workout after that I'm not quite sure but if I have the footage I will overlay it and then on Wednesday I chose not to run because I just didn't really feel like it to be honest um, the run that I went on the day before was really challenging and I think that's because I actually ran a little too late in the day and it was already starting to get hot and sunny and everything. I was just like really tired and like didn't want to run. So I chose to do the day one booty day, uh, which I kind of want to start incorporating more videos and everything. And I'll get into that in the updates. But um, the oh no, it's booty day um, workout I did. It's week 17 of Pamela Reef's workout plan and it's day one. If you guys want to screenshot that, that is what I did instead Instead of the no jumping cardio or the 10 minute booty, I actually did an ab workout just because I wanted to do an ab workout. I want to tighten my core more because I feel like I've just been like really slacking on that. And then today I ended up doing a run which was 2.57 miles and I burned 254 calories and um, I actually pressed like the, it was too hard last time. So it did like this modified run. So that was the modified run. And then after the run today, I did a ab workout. It's like the muffin top one, the trained waist. And then I also did the an arm workout because going into the updates, I feel like my body is kind of like regressing in a way. The running's providing a good basis, you know, but like it's not as intense, I don't think, as some of my workout videos. And I'm kind of seeing that now because my workout videos that I do, like Pamela Reef or Chloe Ting, I feel like they're very much more high intensity and like use a lot of muscle and like you burn calories like faster. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's just like what I'm feeling in my body. So when I tried to do some video workouts before, like before this week, cause I think I tried to incorporate some, I could barely get through them because running and doing the video workouts and stuff, they all use different muscle groups, which I'm now seeing. And I don't want to lose my skill and ability to like do my workout videos. Cause I honestly prefer those better than running. Um, it's just a personal preference. I don't mind running and I do like it all right but if I don't want to get up so early like I want to have something that I enjoy and everything so I can do all of those workouts at my house in the air conditioning and I can do them at any time so that is just one note um, I made I can barely get through some of the video workouts and like I just don't think that's okay and that's why I'm gonna start incorporating them more oh I already kind of touched on this but I had to say that run on Monday was just too hard because it really was like I I could not finish that. Um, well, I finished it, but like I just keep on taking breaks during like when I was supposed to be running. And then 
I also touched on this as well. I'm doing the videos because I feel like they help keep me toned and running really doesn't. I can tell the running really helps my legs because when I do like the leg workouts in the videos, I don't have a problem with that as much like the booty, the legs or whatever, but like anything with the abs, like I'm getting a little soft here and I hate saying that because it's like, it's not that bad, but like I just, I was doing so well, if you guys know what I mean, that I don't wanna like fall behind anymore. And I've noticed too, which I do realize that my time of the month is coming up, so this could be playing a role in it, but a lot of my weight is like congregating around my hip area. And I don't know if that's because I haven't been doing a lot of side planks and stuff, but I'm just like not feeling this, except my lower body is like popping off, but like the rest of my body is not so much. Um, and then I also, incorporating an arm workout this was the first arm workout I have done since my uh, like my sore biceps um, and that was like I think over three weeks ago so I'm going to start incorporating more arm workouts in my workouts and days and everything so I can get back to being strong in the upper body because I'll tell you when I was doing the upper body workout today and that was like one of her like medium to like beginner videos I think my arms hurt so bad like I could not keep them up and stuff so I just want to get back to kind of where I was before and work on the center of my body because it was looking like so good and then the running I just don't think is like helping me in that area and that's a area of focus that I want to start working more on and that was like originally my focus for this year but unfortunately it just like hadn't been going so hot so anyway with that being said the progress photos that you're gonna see in like right now um aren't gonna be like too drastic but you can see like my hips are like wider I don't know why um again I just don't I don't think running's doing anything for like weight loss per se so that's why I'm just like eh about it um I'm like I mean like I was originally wanting to try it just to see what it would do to my body and I feel like my body's kind of getting used to running because I am running for a lot longer than I ever have before but it's just like I don't know so I think my body's just kind of getting used to it and stagnant and I can't have that so anyway yeah this is the front view so on the left is Alex at the beginning of year two and then on the right is current Alex and then here is the side view of that and honestly like I'm a lot less bloated in this picture so I'm happy about that it's just like I don't know why I just feel like I'm getting a little wider but we'll see um I think that is going to be about it for it this video if you guys have anything to comment comment down below something fun for me to reply to make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video bye Thank you.